Have you ever looked at your own hand and wondered, how does it work? Not just the fact that it moves, but how exactly do the bones, muscles, and nerves work together to allow you to pick up an object, write your name, or feel the touch of another person? This fundamental question takes us to the heart of our inner universe and to two words that are the foundation of all knowledge about the human body, anatomy and physiology. Let's start with anatomy. Think of anatomy as the map, the parts list, the body's architecture. Anatomy studies the structures of the body and the relationships between them. It is the science of what and where. Anatomy isn't just one thing. It can be macroscopic, like when we study the organs we can see with the naked eye, the heart, the brain, the lungs, but it can also be microscopic. When we dive to this level, we find histology, the study of tissues, and cytology, the study of individual cells. Anatomy gives us the language to describe location. Terms like superior and inferior, anterior and posterior aren't just words, they are precise coordinates on the map of our body. For example, anatomy shows us that the bones of the skull are broad, curved, and tightly joined, forming a protective helmet. In contrast, the anatomy of the fingers reveals small, articulated bones. The structure is completely different, and this difference is no accident. And that question, why, leads us directly to our second key word, physiology. If anatomy is the map, physiology is the instruction manual, the science that explains how the car runs. Physiology studies the functions of the body, that is, how the body parts work to keep us alive and in balance. It answers the questions how and why. Just like anatomy, physiology also has its specialties. Neurophysiology studies the functioning of the brain and nerves. Cardiovascular physiology focuses on the heart and blood vessels. Respiratory physiology on the lungs and gas exchange. Returning to our example, physiology explains how the rigid structure of the skull, its anatomy, actually protects the brain from impact by absorbing and distributing force. And it explains how the articulated structure of the fingers, its anatomy, allows for the function of gripping and manipulating objects with incredible precision thanks to the coordinated action of muscles and nerves. Let's take another example, the lungs. Anatomically, they are lightweight, spongy structures filled with millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli. That is the structure. Physiology explains how this immense surface area allows for gas exchange, the entry of vital oxygen, and the exit of carbon dioxide. The connection is key. The structure of a body part is perfectly adapted for its function. They are two sides of the same coin. Anatomy provides the stage, the actors, and the scenery. Physiology is the play that happens on that stage, a complex drama of chemical reactions, electrical impulses, and physical forces. Understanding this pair is the first and most crucial step in any journey into the knowledge of the human body. It is the language we will use to explore the complex systems, the diseases, and the wonders that happen within us every second. It's the foundation for understanding how life is maintained by a delicate balance, a concept we will explore in depth in our next episode, Homeostasis. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to Inner Cosmos and embark on this inward journey with us.